Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. Just wanted to bring you a quick video today letting you know about the release of Claude 2.1. If you're unfamiliar with Claude, this is a large language model or LLM developed by a company called Anthropic. Now you can think of Claude as an alternative to ChatGBT and also an as alternative to Google Bard for text-based outputs. So I'm on the official blog post for the introduction of Claude 2.1 on Anthropic's website, and I'll definitely leave a link to this in the video description below if you want to take a look for more details. So as I scroll through here, one of the first things I noticed was this short video that Anthropic developed um, about Claude 2.1. So unfortunately, it's not a YouTube embed or I would leave the link to the YouTube video. So I would just take a look at this blog post and watch this quick video that gives a brief overview of what Claude 2.1 can do and some of the functionalities that it possesses. So one of the first big things to highlight about Claude 2.1 is the 200K context window. It's hard to say, 200K context window. Um, but anyways, 200K context window, what this means, guys, is that Claude now has a limit of 200,000 tokens, which translates to 150,000 words or over 500 pages of material. So long story short, Claude can now handle more data and more information in a single input, whereas before it could not handle this. And this is kind of the trend that I'm seeing with large language models. We just saw this with GBT4 now getting 128K context window with GBT4 Turbo. So this is a trend we're starting to see with LLMs as the context window is starting to increase with the amount that a single input can handle. So another important feature to mention about Claude 2.1 is what's called this hallucination rates or 2x decrease in hallucination rates. Now, what are hallucination rates? That was a question that I had. Well, Anthropic goes on to describe them here as significant gains in honesty, a 2x decrease in false statements compared to our previous Claude 2.0 model. This enables enterprises to build high performing AI applications that solve concrete business problems and deploy AI across their operations with greater trust and reliability. So if you scroll down and look at this graph that Anthropic created, you'll see here on the left, we have incorrect statements and then also decline to answer. So the dark purple being Claude 2.1, the light purple being Claude 2.0, and then this little pink line here being the error margin or margin of error. So with incorrect responses, you'll see Claude 2.0 has a lot higher incorrect responses than Claude 2.1. Now what they're defining as incorrect, I'm not sure, but regardless, it seems to be promising. Same with decline to answer. So looks like we're getting more responses that say decline to answer for Claude 2.1 versus Claude 2.0 would answer something even if it wasn't appropriate to provide an answer for a given prompt. So that can be good and bad in my opinion, but at least I'm starting to see some significant strides here from Anthropic in this Claude 2.1 LLM. So that's good to see too. The blog post goes on to talk also about these long context question answering errors. There's more information about the API tool, and there's also more information about the developer experience. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of those details. Just wanted to bring you some top highlights, in my opinion, as you can look at this blog post yourself. And I would also suggest watching this quick video on Claude 2.1. So guys, what is the big deal with Claude? Well, if you're unfamiliar with Claude, as I refresh this page here, Anthropic has received billions of dollars worth of investments from big tech companies, most notably Google. So back at, towards the end of October, Google actually invested $2 billion in Anthropic. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why would they do that as they have Google Bard and Google Gemini's in the works? Palm 2, and there's all these things going on in the background with Google and their own AI ecosystem, but yet they give $2 billion to Anthropic. Well, I guess the pushback here is they're trying to compete with Microsoft and OpenAI. That would be my guess for the reason and investment of this caliber is they're just trying to team up with Anthropic to go against OpenAI and Microsoft. As Microsoft, in my opinion, is leading the AI gold rush by a landslide like right now. Um, and especially after this altercation with OpenAI and Sam Altman uh, and the soap opera that has been, I think Google needs has realized behind the scenes from a high level um, that in, investing in a company like Anthropic to not only get Claude, like Claude 2.1 just released to get these developments out for Claude as an LLM, pairing that with Google Bard and everything going on with Google, that's probably what they're thinking is the best strategy to combat open AI, to combat chat GBT, and to combat Microsoft from winning the AI gold rush in the long run. Now, before Google, Amazon has actually been a huge investor in Anthropic as well. So Amazon, if I scroll down here, has invested $4 billion in Anthropic and will have a minority ownership position in the company. 
So Amazon and Google have invested billions of dollars into Anthropic and, you know, mostly into this Claude large, large language model, as I'm familiar with. I don't know what else is going on behind the scenes at Anthropic that would warrant an investment of this caliber. Um, but when you have Amazon and Google teaming up against OpenAI and Microsoft, that's where this is all going. It's going to be a battle between, it looks like Claude versus ChatGBT. Uh, Google Bard's still in the mix, of course. But just want to let you guys know that uh, there is some serious investment money going into Anthropic and Claude. So I think that's important I bring that up. And especially with ChatGBT now, um, Claude is becoming a serious competitor. So if I click upgrade, there is still a waiting list for ChatGBT Plus to access the GBT4 language model. So the enhancement of Claude 2.1, I think, is a big deal in my opinion. Now, I want to be fully transparent. As I came over to Claude right after, you know, before making this video, and I type in any prompt, like I'll just say in this example, um, hi, Claude, and then I hit enter, I get this error up here that says Claude model version not found. So I tried this with other prompts and I tried it on a different browser and a different account and I kept getting this error. So I'm wondering if the servers are overloaded right now as I am on the free version, there's an upgraded version or a premium version of Claude you can get. So if you click subscribe to pro, um, there's a premium version here that you can get with Claude 2.1. Um, but on the free chat, guys, I'm not really sure what is going on, to be honest. Um, I'll try it one more time in this video. I'll say, hi, Claude. Uh, same error, Claude model version not found. So if it if it's, you know, my guess, it's because the servers are overloaded with Claude 2.1 right now. Uh, maybe it's a user error that I'm doing. I'm not really sure. But I want to be transparent and just not tell you guys to use Claude 2.1 and expect something great right now. So I'm actually going to keep checking this and refreshing my page to see if Claude 2.1 does come back and is working for me. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to bring you a quick video about the release of Claude 2.1. And I'm very curious to see how this is going to compare with ChatGBT and other LLMs going forward as the AI gold rush continues. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about Claude 2.1 or anything else going on in the world of AI. I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.